Hello everybody, welcome back to NO1800 Extreme Mode. We're back here in Yucatan and enjoy the beautiful scenery of course, but we're also doing a resident quest. I've neglected them for far too long and they need work clothes, um, get stuck in the machine, stay in night. We spend our nights stitching every rip back together, sure would be nice to have some of those fancy sewing machines. They want sewing machines, 8 tons of them, we do have them, so we should get the turn-in quest, there it is. Let's turn it in and see what we got. A refiner affects oil wells productivity 20%, so that's that, nothing here to do. We've got a little riot here in the meantime, so we drive our police station here somewhere. And I've already mobilized them, so there are several policemen now doing their work. And while that is happening, we also want to have more brick streets or paved streets in our beautiful town. So I'm going to do that here real quick. Um, they are very important actually to increase the radius, as I've already said in one of the last episodes. And thanks again for pointing that out in the comments, that we should do that from time to time, getting some more paved streets. Um, the game is very complex, if you've noticed by then, by now, and it's, it's very easy to, you know, just overlook things here, especially in the thick of battle. Okay, we should also get the paved streets here in the industrious area, so we increase the productivity and the radius of warehouses, of fire stations, police stations, and make the carriage just faster as well. So we do that here real quick. Alrighty, that's here, and I think we have, yeah, we already have paved streets here, but there are some missing here, so let's do that as well. Money-wise, we are in a good position right now, we've got lots of money, but we have a negative balance, we need to, to check on that. As well, um, let me just have a few more paved streets here, very nice. And I think New Catan looks better and better now. With each episode, we have a ship under attack. It's her again. She really doesn't have enough. Let me have a look at my fleet real quick. We do have an item here still. Turning as slowly as ever. Around in the harbor here, let's get that into the harbor, like that, and get our ships now to the ocean again, destroying some of her ships here. She's way too annoying. I got two of her islands, and she's still here. Does she really want to lose her last island? It would be a bit difficult because of defenses, so I don't think there's a way for me right now to take it by force. It's just too many cannons here. They destroy War of Ma'ash, the big ones. So. Buying a share would be an option. Financially, it wouldn't be the big problem, but influence-wise, I think it is. I definitely want to keep a lot of my influence for the newspapers, so we need to do that. And we've also constructed a new man of war, and we can already build the next one right away. It's always very nice to build them right away. They don't cost any money for production. That is really cool. That is a change I like. So you can just produce them once you have the goods. Of course, they do cost a certain upkeep them, especially the ship of the lines to 50 each. But um, I think it's definitely worth it because you can just sell them then. And also this one here that I've just finished. Let's just send it over here to Sir Archibald and send it for, uh, sell it for 50k. That's a lot of money that we get out of that. And quickly too. And um, I want also to have another frigate. We need a few more weapons with that because I want to start with expeditions as well. Let's get one of my frigates back here to New Catan so we can do that. And in the meantime, we have still this uh, little cheer which we want to make a city of. So we have to continue building some houses here naturally. Like that. Some more houses and then also some more workers. And what I also want to do is for my people here, they want sausages. And we can do that. We don't need a fertility for that. So that's a very nice thing. We can just have a sausage production. And I'm going to put it here. 
The only bad thing here is that we don't have bricks, so we don't have any clay pits here. Uh, that's not so good, but it's not the end of the world. That's a fourth of those pig farms. And build them here real quick. There's five of it again, and we also need it on the other side. Like so. Okay, it's actually quite easy here. And we need four slaughterhouses for that. And yeah, I need a bit more timber and then I can upgrade the warehouse, which of course I'm going to do. And we still have some bricks, so let's just build a paved road here. And perhaps one here as well. Okay, and we should also check his items from time to time, because he's got sometimes um, productivity increase for my productions even though expeditions are much more fruitful in that regard so you get much better items out of that okay but we got a Sausage production here now in Bellrock as well. Let's get some more timber. Oh, we do have more timber here. One of our ships. Very good. And then we can just upgrade a few more here. Very nice. We need more tax income. And let's also have a paved street here in the center. For now. Looking cozy. And especially we have a, a 360 degree view of the ocean almost. So we can see wherever the enemy is coming from. Or my people could, if they would have eyes. Right, we're quite in a negative now. So something is happening here in in Yucatan. It looks good though to me. So we have everything we need. So I don't know why my people are that unhappy right now. I know the lackage of rum is a problem. And I'm going to change that at some point because we can still take back this island here if we want to. But at the moment I have nothing else to offer here for the, the rum problem that we have. Okay, so that's something we need to think about. Um, there is a, a the fertilizer for rum, so for sugarcane fertilizer that you can get uh, with the exhibitions, but the exhibitions are still quite some way away from us, far away. And yeah, this is definitely something that should be patched though. So having one fertility on one small island is yeah, but that's extreme mode. Hey, it's not broken the game because of that. You know, it's just a bit more difficult. And that's why we play this difficulty here anyway. But everything else here in Yucatan looks good to me otherwise. So we can focus on a new production now. Perhaps something that increases happiness. Or something... Well, artisans is only... The rum that's needed and bicycles. Pies, bicycles and the glasses would be good for the engineers that we could do. And one thing that I also want to do is before I forget it again, we need the commuter spear. So that's this one here. To link Bellrock and Nukatan, but it does cost quite a bit. We need to be careful about that for now. I've got one of my ships now, Top Banana, in Yucatan. So let's see if we can send into an expedition. Preparation. It's an archaeological one. So for the archaeological one, I need naval power for this one though. So let's send my frigate to that Mosquito. On course. So we already have those two things here. And we also want to get something like Schnapps. Oh, we don't have any schnapps. Look at that. So this is the reason 
Why? Oh no, it's in Belrog. I'm sorry for that. So that is the wrong ship then. We need the top banana and we should have schnapps here. Yes, we do have schnapps here in New Catan. We don't have any schnapps in Belrog for the moment, so we're going to change that. Let me have a real quick look. No, we don't have any potatoes anywhere else. So that is another thing. Not optimal. We've got only one island here with potatoes on it. So that would be a, it would be a nice thing to have um, something that increases the production of crops. Affects all production buildings. What the hell are they doing? Where are my ships? Annoying as hell. Yeah, she can be real glad for destroying one of my ships again. Look at her face. Going to see that face again when I destroy her man of war. And a new newspaper there. Let's get this one real quick. 15 happiness, 15 income, and 15 minus consumption. This one's going down now, there's no other way around it. But I wanted to see if we can increase the schnapps production somehow. So there's the steam turbine, really cool item. Production building, that doesn't count for farms though, I think. So that is that, we would need to do something about that. Uh, that increases the negative, the unhappiness quite a bit here. Because I want to get schnapps to my other island, of course. I hate her, really. The most despicable enemy that I've ever seen. This woman up here. I think her time has come at some point. I'm going to destroy her. I, I can see mercy for Ad the Admiral or for the for Alonso, but not for her. She's going down at some point. And look at how uh, slow my ships are, even though we have the wind in our back. We are still much, much slower than the enemy ship. Something I really don't understand. I've checked this now with several safe games and with several games. My ships are always slower than the enemy ships on extreme. It's a bit unfair. And now we've got it. That's the end of it. Finally. Got a nice it item out of that. Let's have a look. Oh, some bicycles. Look at that. That should give me a nice boost, a temporary one. Over that. But yeah, let's also have a look at my distilleries. I need another schooner and I need another clipper. And my man of war here has arrived now. We can sell it. Look at that, there's the next one. She's just. My goodness. Let's sell this one here. Another 50k.
and some more farmers here and we definitely want to get schnapps here to this island so i'm going to have a trade route and i think i'm going to use this frigate here because they can defend themselves at least and we're going to use top banana for a trade route of schnapps from new katan to Balrog, and i hope i'm not taking too much schnapps with me when i say 100 tons per turn i hope that's okay we do have a surplus right now, so we need a production increase of 100 tons if it goes too low. And now we've got the illness, so there's always something we can see in our town that is bad, kind of. Okay, so we've done those things now, and we've also increased the population of Belrock a bit. And what we want to do now is we want to start a new production, so the spectacles. And for spectacles, uh, spectacles we need zinc and we need copper. Both of them we have here in Belrock. So let let me have a look at copper and zinc is over there. And it should only cost us wood, really, and perhaps some bricks. No, okay, they are very expensive, those mines here. So we need reinforced concrete as well. And let's get another clipper here on the way. Let's just wait for the schooner to finish here, because one of my tree rods lost a schooner. Ship constructed. Okay, so there it is, and that's the schooner, Providence, steel, steel transport. Okay, and we do have sausage here now, so yeah, let's get rid of that and send those two ships back to New Catan because I want to get some resources over here for the sink and copper mine. I do have two copper deposits here, that's good to know. And two sink here, let's do it like that. So let's have two sink here and two copper. And then we can um, produce brass on one of those islands here, probably. Or on Sleepy Hollow. Or New Katana, I say Sleepy Hollow, because Sleepy Hollow was the capital I had before this game. Uh, New Katan, I could have it here or in Belrock. I think this is better to have glasses. We need the space in New Katan more for the oil production. Yeah, so we are going to have an oil production here at some point. So we still need to, to save on the space there a bit. Okay, so this town is growing as well and we're still negative I mean we got a huge fleet that's definitely definitely something puts it down okay nothing else is happening here very nice okay let's have a look at um, Bew Castle here real quick we need fried plantains and poncho as far as I can see both of them are low it's probably also Affecting our tax balance. We do have enough plantains though. How's the fish oil looking? Our fish oil is really down. So we need to do something about that. Where's the harbor? Or where's a the beach? There's a beach here. So we can have a warehouse here. Man, we cannot build it there. It's incredible. I mean, this is perfectly fine here at this spot. Okay. Yeah, we still have some space here. I think, yeah. I really don't like those small islands here that we have. Oh, look at that. I cannot do that. Only one more. That's not enough. Okay, so I need to get rid of one of them 
completely. Like that. And then we can have the fish oil here. Let's have three more, that should suffice. And of course we need to rebuild that cotton plantation somewhere else. So here. Okay, so we have the fish oil there now. Fried plantains is looking good, so we just need a few more kitchens for that. We have some space here now where we can place some kitchens. And we also have a fire station here, that's good. Let's have three more kitchens. And look at who's here as well, being annoying and all. She really wants to lose her last settlement in New World as well, I think. So, well, you know what, let's just do that. Let's send all our men of wars. Do I have one more? I should have one more here. Well, that's the whole fleet we have. Yeah, so those five. Stations. Let's send them to the new world and destroy her there, there completely. New world, let's go. I really don't want to see her face anymore here. She's going down now. And right, we should have everything here. Let's also upgrade the warehouse real quick. Even that is not enough, so let's build a second one. Here. And that is that. And what's been destroyed here? The poncho makers. That explains it, of course, why we have no ponchos here. But just to be on the safe side, let's also have two more alpaca farms here. Two more of those poncho darners. Let's also upgrade the warehouse here. That should do it. Now we have enough poncho makers here. Very nice. And we could also have uh, ships now. Let's build a clipper here in Newcastle. So that we can start with another settlement over here. I think this is good. We have coffee here. Very important. So a very good island actually. Oh, the pirate is attacking me. We're not at ceasefire anymore. Let's get that one. Four thousand, that's nothing. Oh, she wants a ceasefire, actually. Should we see how much she wants for that? Let's have a look. Fifty-five thousand? No, sorry, lady. You're not going to see one. Alonso. We could request a peace treaty. Let's have a look. 55,000 for peace treaty. Nah. Sorry, pal. I'm not paying that. I'm, I'm much stronger than you are. Of course, we have to babysit our ships from time to time. So they're not just standing still in the ocean like they do here all the time. Let's go. Actually, I need to get the bicycles to New Catan for now. And the balance is positive as well again, so we've solved that problem. Even though we have quite a big illness here at the moment, let's mobilize our hospital and get the doctors there real quick. Other than that, I think we have no real threat anymore. I mean, she is kind of annoying, but she's not a threat. We can just happily build away now, and we do that. I still need the commuter peers here. That's something for the next episode. And then we're going to destroy her in the new world entirely. 
this last island here. Yay, I'd say. And coffee actually should be a need then as well, yeah, for the engineers, so that is something we can also do. Stay tuned for the next episode.